Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. I see Chris. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Novia. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining on time. Veamos. I see here someone diciendo en el grupo que they have problems joining. Thank you so much for joining today, guys. Hello, hello. I see Christian just joined, Rocio joined, Guillermo joined, excellent. All right, guys. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, Christian. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. That's great. That's Thanks good. for asking. Of course, it is Wednesday, my guys. What that means is that tomorrow is our Friday. Esta semana ya no vamos a tener clases el viernes. Tomorrow is our Friday because we don't have classes on Friday, right? On the actual Friday. So that is great. I see Jennifer just joined, excellent. Now guys, let's see. Today, we are going to be reviewing some new topics. We're going to continue practicing where we left off yesterday con la practice del, um, de les, del past, lo que mandamos para los ejercicios en WhatsApp, of course, but we are also going to be reviewing some new topics. Yo sé que no terminamos con todos los exercises del past simple, um, but we will work on those in just a moment. After we review this topic right here, we have to review simple past yes or no questions. Ustedes en las practice ya comenzaron a ver which is uh, which are the ones you're just going to answer yes or no to las que solo vamos a contestar yes or no o para preguntas más simples right so that uh, we are clear on that y también vamos a hacer una pequeña practice with everyone about summer activities, and that is going to be our vocabulary for today, summer activities, and also practicing some reading with this one. We're going to be doing this reading right here. So let me go ahead and close this one. Perfect. We're going to be doing that reading, guys, and reviewing this vocabulary about summer activities. So let's see, we are 10 people right now. I see Cristian, Molina, Cristian Castro, Guillermo, Rocio, Jennifer, Marlene, Nestor, Nubia, and Rita. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember, eh, trabajar en la platform. Recuerden que ya tendríamos que estar esta semana trabajando in section four so that we finish section four esta semana para que terminemos esta semana section four. And next week, we get to work on section five porque ya next Thursday, el próximo jueves, we should be finishing your... Um, 
your final exam and you'll be graduating from beginners three, principiantes tres. Yay! But remember that in order for that to happen, para que eso pueda suceder, we need to finish the platform. So that is very important, right? So just a reminder, como un recordatorio, remember to work on the platform, al menos un ratito para ir avanzando. Excellent. Now, guys, let's start today's class reviewing this vocabulary. This vocabulary is about summer activities, things that you can do in the summer. La mayoría son deportes, right? Or things to go out and do. So let's go ahead and read some examples. Can I have a voluntary to read this words? Voluntario to read this words? Voluntario, voluntaria to read those Me words? Teacher. Excellent. Who is your? <laughs> Marley. <laughs> okay, perfect. Go ahead, Marley. Let's read this word. Uh, only read? Yes. Okay. A class, fun, hiking, a movie, new people, all friends. Excellent, Marley. Thank you so much. And I have another volunteer to read this one. A picnic, pictures, the play, swimming, tennis, volleyball. Excellent, Guillermo. Thank you so much. And we have this words as well. Can I have a volunteer to read this word? Go, have, meet, play, see, take. Excellent, Maria. Thank you. So the way we can use these words, the words that Nuria read, is that we can go hiking or go swimming. You can have fun. You can, um, for example, meet old friends meet new people, take, um, take, a, take pictures, have a picnic, right? Tenemos diferentes palabras que nos ayudan para decir lo mismo. Hay algunos deportes como swimming, que you don't play swimming, como play football or play volleyball, sino que you go swimming or you go hiking, for example, right? Esas son las diferentes palabras que podemos usar. For example, si yo digo um, a movie, what would you use? Would you use go, have, meet, play, see, or take for a movie? See, sí, see. Sí. Correct. You can go see a movie, right? What about fun? Have fun. Have, have fun. fun, correct. You can go have fun. Excellent. And what about to, to, to play? A play. Do you know what a play is? Play tennis. Play soccer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Esther, do you know what a play is? Oh, okay. All right, guys. So, entiendo de, de dónde salió, right? Que play soccer, play volleyball, etc. El del verbo play. But a play se le dice a una obra de teatro, por ejemplo. A play. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now we know. Hoy ya sabemos. I'm going to go see a play. Que voy a ir a ver una obra de teatro, right? Excellent. Any questions about this vocabulary, guys? This is very simple, right? Solo es extra vocabulary for us.
No. <clears throat> All right. In that case, let's go ahead and move on to today's topic, which is simple yes or no questions, which we're going to answer by using yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Porque como lo estamos usando en el pasado, todas las preguntas van con did, remember? So, you can answer yes, I did, or no, I didn't. But, before we get into that, leamos esta conversation para uh, tener una idea de cómo funciona, right? So, can I have two volunteers? I, me. Excellent. So, Cristian and Guillermo, I think, right? Okay. I am Laura. <laughs> All right, cool. Perfect. <laughs> go ahead, guys. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I uh, went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Oh, really? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went you know, to forest resting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have some? Yes, we did. We have a great lot time. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, guys. Now, aquí tenemos todos los ejemplos de cómo usar las yes or no questions, right? Mm -hmm. Como ustedes pueden ver, las questions in the past always start with did. Did you like it? Did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go hiking there? Did you have fun? Right? Y por lo tanto, nuestras respuestas también van a ir con did or didn't. Si es negativo. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. We loved it. Yes, we loved it. No, we didn't. Yes, we did, right? ¿Por qué aquí no lleva el did? Aquí lo podemos omitir, did you like it? Oh, yes, y podemos decir, yes, I did, we loved it, oh, yes, we loved it, right? Digamos que la forma más usual de decirlo es con yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Pero tampoco es que sea un gran error si no lo ponen. Vamos siempre a complementar, right? We love, yes, we loved it. Yes, we liked it, etc. This is a very simple, guys, in that sense. Veamos un poco más de ejemplos. No, I'm sorry, guys. Antes de pasar. ¿Hay alguna palabra en este reading that you don't know? Or that you would like to, I don't know, know what it means? Or is everything clear? Yeah. Cool, is okay. Yeah. Inky, inky in t-shirt? Uh, this one? Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay, so that's hiking. Hiking, senderismo. Hiking, and hiking is where people go and do long walks on the forest or in, to the mountains, uh, terrenos que no son como muy modernos, right? Que son como um, to the mountains. And, yeah, correct. Hacer Caminatas, right? Así un poco extremo. That's hiking. Excellent. What else, guys? Thanks. Gracias. Of course.
Now, white water uh, rafting. Es esto, right? Es esto. This is white water rafting. This is a raft. It's como una balsa, right? And it también es como medio extremo, right? So, white water, the white waters go very fast. Es bastante peligroso. Y hay gente que lo hace como deporte, rafting. Ir en esas corrientes súper rápidas en la balsa. So that's white water rafting on the Colorado River. Excellent. Okay. Oh, I see. Entonces, ahora ya que ya we know what hiking is, we can go ahead and move on to the grammar section. So let's go ahead and read some examples. Let's see. Can I please have... Ooh, can I please have Priselda read this example? Good night. Hi, Priselda. Good night. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Excellent. Thank you so much. And can I please have Jennifer read this one? Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I didn't. I played tennis. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And now may I have Rocio read this one? <clears throat> did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Excellent, Rocio. Thank you so much. And can I please have Christian Castro read this one? Uh, did Erika uh, and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Excellent, Christian. Thank you so much. So, as you can see, es lo que yo les decía. A la respuesta podemos decir positivo, yes, I did, yes, he did, she did, it did, we did, right? O si es negativa, didn't. No, I didn't, no, she didn't, you didn't, we didn't, they didn't. Con X pronombre, right? Aquí tenemos dos ejemplos de negativas y los de arriba son dos ejemplos de respuestas positivas. Now, why están estos verbos en pasado estando aquí el didn't? Porque son dos oraciones separadas, right? Hay un punto, entonces son dos oraciones separadas. Yeah, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her, her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Ahí estamos aclarando, right? No, ellas no fueron a Colorado. Fueron a Arizona. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Did you play volleyball? Okay. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis, right? Aclaramos. Si es una negativa, aclaramos. Y si es algo positivo, entonces lo reforzamos, right? Did you have a good summer? Yeah, I did. I had a great summer. No es necesario que lo hagamos tan largo. Ustedes pueden perfectamente solo decir, yes, I did, o no, I didn't, si no le queremos dar más detalles a la otra persona, right? Ustedes pueden contestar solo, yes, I did. Uh, for example, si yo les preguntara, did you go to work today? ¿Fue, fue a trabajar hoy? Did you go to work today? Y alguien me puede decir, yes, I did. Punto. And that's okay. Oh, no, I didn't. I stayed home. Cool. Oh, yes, I did. And I'm very, I'm, I'm very tired. Super. Ahí depende de ustedes, right? Cuanto quieran dar de detalle. No hay como una regla de bien o mal específico. Es, eso ya es que nosotros nos fluya lo que le querramos decir. Va a depender de con quién estamos y todo lo que le querramos decir. Como en español, hay gente que le respondemos um, bastante, gente que es, mm, sí, nada más, right? 
So, lo que quiero decir es que no porque sea inglés van a tener que darle toda la información a todo mundo, right? Con que ustedes sepan que así es la manera en que respondemos. Yes, I do. O, I'm sorry, yes, I did. O, no, I didn't. Ya van a ir bien, right? Do you have any questions hasta ahorita, guys, about simple past questions? Or no? Or is that clear? Yes. Cool. Excellent. Sure? No questions? Si no, pasamos a un reading. And then we're going to continue practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. In that case, let's go ahead and do a reading exercise. Is this an exercise? Whoop, let me take this off. Is this an exercise? of a reading, right? Ustedes después van a ver, well, if you're working on the platform, you can see that with that, we would be finishing section four. Con eso estaríamos terminando la section four. Tomorrow, we are going to practice a lot and we're going to start reviewing the past of the verb to be, right? Pero más que todo, vamos a continue practicing tomorrow. Now, um, with that topic, with this reading, estaríamos finishing section four, which is great. Porque eso significa que ustedes pueden ter, eh, continuar trabajando with your, um, in your platform, en su plataforma, para que estemos todos super a tiempo. And in case you have any questions, you can let me know. Y también lo podemos ver mañana. Si tienen alguna pregunta sobre algún knowledge check or anything that you want to know, right? So let's go ahead and do the reading right now. So, vamos a hacer esto más grande. Okay. And I'm going to be asking for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. For six volunteers. La primera persona, si puede leer, please. Desde Kelly hasta aquí, hasta she looked fantastic. Who wants to read? Kelly. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my my best friend uh, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. And her friend and family went. She looked fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, she looked fantastic. Now, who else? Who wants to read? Desde she hasta her husband. Yo. All right, go ahead, Nestor. She wore a beautiful dress after a ceremony. Her parents seven served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her and really like her husband. Excellent. Thank you, Nesta. Yes. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. Excellent. So Kelly is talking about her friend Helen's wedding, right? And how it was at her home and it was really great. Do you have any questions? about Kelly's stories? No? No vocabulary questions? 
Vermin in war. war. Which one? War. Oh, war. Oh, right. I guess I would yes. war, guys. The pencils were. Oh, my God. Oh, right. She wore a beautiful dress. War is the past tense of the verb wear. So she wears something and she wore the dress. She wears the dress and she wore the dress, right? It's el pasado, the wear. See? All right. Let's go ahead and do Robert. Who wants to start reading? Yo. Who's Yo? Christian Alexander. Excellent. So let's go ahead, Christian, and read hasta aquí. Hasta all. All. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. Excellent. Yes, uh, that's not a good weekend, right? Kelly's weekend was good, but Robert's weekend was is not uh, sounding great. Awful. Yes, awful. Now, who wants to continue reading this decking until the end? Me, teacher. All right, Nubia, go ahead. And after the concert ended, all care broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us and got us. We finally got home at, at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Excellent. Thank you so much. So after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. So that weekend sounds terrible. Robert got home at 10 this morning, at 10 a.m. in the morning after all night. That sounds terrible. Let's go ahead and do Erin reading, right? Who wants to begin reading? The king. Until here, as the tent. Me, teacher, Beatriz, Rita. Excellent, perfect, go ahead. I had an interesting weekend. I went cup camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on some on Saturday and drove so the cam campsite first. We pull pull up the tent. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Campsite. Excellent. Now, who wants to continue reading? from here until the end. Who wants to finish the reading? Your teacher. Excellent, go ahead. Go ahead with the reading. Hello. Sorry, it's the mute. No problem. The, then we built a fire, cooked diner, and tell the stories. Uh, we got, uh, we got, we got up early on Sunday, and went fishing. I caught a fishing, a fish. Pardon, I didn't really like camping but I learning a lot thank you very much all right so le hagamos el review de esta palabra remember this is very important 
All right, guys. Hagamos el review de esta palabra. How do you pronounce this word, guys? Dinner. 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 It's that dinner. is correct. That is dinner. And how do you pronounce this word? Diner. Diner. That is correct. And what is the difference between dinner and diner? Dinner is the meal. Perfect, yes. Diner is the place. Then diner is the place. Excellent, yes, exactly. Dinner is the meal, right? La cena. And the diner is the place where you have the food. Puede ser a diner, un restaurante, o un comedor, o puede ser your dining table, la mesa del comedor, right? The dining room, for example, el comedor. So, este sí es bien importante porque estamos diciendo algo completamente diferente, right? Si decimos diner o decimos dinner. Este sí es una, hay pronunciaciones que es como que se pueden pasar por alto, right? Pero hay palabras como estas que son homófonas, which means that significan algo diferente, se escuchan igual, pero se escriben diferente. Um, que y cambiamos el sentido de la oración, right? So that's why it's very important. Es el pronunciation. And yes, guys. So, and always remember that we have three different pronunciations for the past. We have the T sound, for example, cooked. This word has a T sound. This has a T sound. Why? Because it sounds cooked, cooked at the end. No suena ni la I ni la D, sino que suena como una T. So that's cooked, right? Excellent, yes. And we also have irregular verbs. For example, the one we have here, I caught a fish. I caught a fish, right? Caught is el pasado de catch. No vamos a decir catched de ed, right? Esto no. Sino que I caught. Captura. Yes, correct. Capturar, agarrar, cachar, etc. I caught a fish. Es el pasado de catch, que es un ejemplo de un verbo irregular, right? Porque no agregamos ed, sino que es una palabra diferente. All right, guys. Do you have any questions del vocabulary que hemos visto aquí? Meaning to... Meaning and... Oh, took, took me. And cuál? And Aaron, Robert, or Kelly? My friend took me. My friend took me. My friend right. took me. Aquí está. Okay. Aquí, right? Aquí. My friend took me. That one? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So took is el pasado de which verb, guys? Take. Correct. Took is el pasado de take. So my mm -hmm. friends took me. Mis amigos me llevaron, right? Took is el past tense of take. También es un verbo irregular. Excellent. What else, guys? Do you have any questions about this reading? Or is it clear? No questions. All right. In that case, we are going to go back 
to our breakup rooms. And let's see, I just have to check which we, uh, which breakup rooms we were working with to assign the same breakup rooms. Que podamos continuar working. But we will go ahead right now and go back to our breakup rooms para continuar trabajando en los exercises que tenemos del simple past. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Perfect. Teacher, excuse me. Hello? Uh, what is early? Early. We go, uh, we we go up early on Sunday. Early. This one, I see. Early. Uh, no. Uh, that's uh, early. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. No. Alguien sabe que no, es sí. early guy? No. Eh, lo estoy leyendo mal. Le diría como Carly, pero no es es early. Early. No, yeah. Early. Okay. No, no problem. Thanks. Excellent. No problem. All right. So let's check the breakup rooms, guys. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm, I don't have the breakup rooms anymore. All right. We are going to go ahead and see what the destiny takes us. Vamos a ver a qué nos lleva el destino. To go ahead and work in different breakup rooms. Whoops. Mm, nope. And we're going to continue working on the um, on the exercises, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and join the breakup rooms. We are 13 people right now. So let's go ahead and join breakup room to continue working on the exercises with this new groups. Excellent. Let's go ahead and join the breakup rooms. I see room number one completed, room number two completed, room number three completed, and we just need Denny. Excellent.
todos los, los tres ejercicios. Sí, yo también ya los terminé. Brown, bro. Sí, bro. Ese brown son chocolates. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ah, lo dije bien. <risa> I hear. El pasado de hear. Yo le tengo como hear con D al final. Con D. Ajá. Y el 3 es el, el mismo, igual se este, han pasado. No, igual, así como está. Rick. En pasado. Uh -huh. Así, Rick. Rick. Sí. Mm. Mm. Ok. El cuatro speak spoke spoke uh -huh. Smith spoke on the stand is on the stun tool verdad on on the stuck uh -huh. for it says it's forgot forgot forgot, forgot. Have. Is... Have. Mm -hmm. Have. Uh -huh. sí, con del, con uh -huh. Y el ocho. Luce. Luce. Con E al final. No, con T. Solo D. T. T. Luce. Lost. No, Luce. Eso, ajá. Ajá. L O S okay. eh, perdón L O S T lo exacto sí. ah okay los okay nueve one solo le cambia la i por la a. okay K E P T ah uh, qué ah uh -huh. We, y la 18, we choose, 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 con una O. Ajá. Choose. Uh -huh. 19, tengo difícil. Began. 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 Eh, 20 de... De flu. Con E. F, E, F, L, E, W. Ajá. We... Drove. 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 Mrs. Black. Eh, se escribe E, A, U, G, H, T. Tau. Ajá. T A U H T S. T A U G H T. El pasado de Tish, así es. Sí, Tish. Chao. Ajá. De de cent sería. Cent. Con T, verdad. Con T. Con T. Y la última we left. Ajá. Left. Ajá. Okay. Es de aprenderse los verbos. Ay, sí, eso, eso está lo, difícil. Eso es lo que, no, sí. que son cantidades de verbos, pero no, los, los más comunes. Sí, yo los, los más, busqué por lo menos, porque yo no me los puedo. Ahorita adivinándolo, porque no lo había hecho. Pero algún medio, me acuerdo. Sí, Ajá. les faltaba, de les faltaba leer, alguno. Todos, yo a creo, mí, yo los acabo de ir haciendo. De la primera página, yo creo que nos faltaba en la ah, W. En la W. Acur. Sí, 
con no. dos R. Ah, sí, ese, ese, ese deberíamos de preguntarle a la teacher, ¿sí? que realmente yo, ese no. ¿Acuren? ¿Acuren? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál es? ¿De la primera página? Ajá, ¿verdad? la primera página. Sí, pero así es. Acuren. ¿Cuál letra es? La W. W. The fire, dice I, ¿no? Así decía. The fire no. occurred. The fire occurred. Pero así es. Es un regular. Irregular. Es regular. En la Y era también slipper. On the light on the weekend, the machine, y aquí con el pasado de go sería went. Alguien está hablando y no, no le escucho. De momento no soy yo. No. <ríe> Escuchaba que alguien estaba diciendo hola, hola, pero no. Ah. Flight. Flight. Pero FL. Ah, flu era. Flu. No. Flu, sí, F así. F-L-I-W. E-W al final. Ajá. Ajá, cierto. Flu. Ok. 21 dry. Creo que dry. es drop, ¿verdad? Drop, ajá. Drop. En Tish. Tranquilo. Tish. Tauch. Tauch. Con E. No, es T-A-U-G-H-T. Ah, ok. Tauch. Sen, sen, se le cambia la D por la T, ¿verdad? Sen. Sen, sí, sí. En Lib. Lib. Lib, vea. Solo le pones un la D. No, le creo que es le. L E F T. Le. Ah, ok. F T, ¿verdad? E F T. Ok. Esta es la última. Sí. 
con la de Len, no, con la de Kip, me quedé con la de Kip, no sé qué, cómo se llama. Ah, ¿cómo sí, igual, yo me quedé con la de Kip. 17. Yo la busqué y dice K-E-P-T. K-E-P-T, Kip. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y el 5 cuál dijeron que era? Um, Understood. Under 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 ¿Cuántas letras le caben al final? La, las últimas cuatro es T O O D. Ah, oh, ok. Carlos Swings. Ok. que ver los otros. Bueno, ustedes ya los terminaron, ¿no? Eh, sí. Ayer. Que los otros son más largos. Uh -huh. Yo me conecté ya bien tarde ayer, ya los estaban viendo cuando me conecté. Pero si quieres los pasamos. Mm. Mientras. Bueno, ¿El, el segundo. El segundo. Last week. Ajá. Sería, yo, yo fui, ¿verdad? Así sería. Mm, yo mm. estuve, yo estuve. Yo tú estuve. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Yo estuve. Ajá. En... Como, como de vacaciones la semana pasada. De vacaciones la semana pasada. La semana pasada. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí en el number five, she so five. Yes. Five. Eh, quiero decir complete sentences in the I found Lucy last right last night. I didn't. I didn't phone her. I didn't phone in present. I didn't phone. I, Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. I didn't phone. Lucy porque ya Lucy last night, como ya está utilizando el. Ajá. El ya día no lo puede, ya Ajá, no lo exacto, puede. exacto. Exacto. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería ahí? I. I didn't phone. Ajá. I didn't. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Ah, es que en negativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Esta sí la, la tenía mala yo. No la, yo la había hecho en no la había hecho en negativo uh -huh. I didn't phone Lucy last night uh -huh. Uh -huh. la otra you ese, didn't ese verbo no sé qué es qué es ese verbo no sé qué el qué es el verbo no lo encontré no lo encontré fíjese en la ¿Sí? número dos sí, de... ordenar ordenó su cuarto mm. pero sí. El, tidy, ver, tidy. el verbo el verbo es tidy tidy sí tidy Ajá. con i con i latina al final Perdón, y, y, y en pasado es tidy Ajá, sí, este es el pasado, pasado. Es tidy. entonces el tidy tidy dice ella eh, suena suena muy lógico la verdad utilizando <ríe> la regla ¿va? yo lo digo uh -huh. bien raro ¿eh? pero uh -huh. vamos a ver Sí, tidy es como ordenar, como arreglar. ¿Cómo le bueno. quedó esa entonces? You didn't tie, tie up your room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number three, Olivia didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't uh, become, become, become an, an actress. actress. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué significa? Mm, que, que Olivia no llegó a ser una actriz, le entiendo yo, pero no estoy segura. No Ajá, llegó acabar. a ser. 
O sea, no se convirtió en actriz, no llegó a ser. Ajá. Cabal. En la 4 se dice: We find the uh, We didn't find the treasure. Fine. Uh -huh. The treasure. Do you know where is treasure? Teatro, no. Uh -huh. Treasure, no. Ah, no tesoro. Pertenece. Es tesoro. Tesoro. Ah, entonces ah, me compró el tesoro. We uh -huh. didn't, find, we didn't uh -huh. find the treasure, yes. Uh -huh. No encontré el tesoro. Uh 